Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. One more video about Turkish coffee I have to do, and that is how to make your own cardamom coffee at home, even if you don't have any pre-ground cardamom coffee in your area, because it is kind of something you will find in more Arab Middle Eastern stores. So this is what you can do. You can just simply take some coffee beans, take some cardamom pods and mix them together and store that in a glass jar. That's the crux of this video essentially, but I'm gonna show you the whole uh, process. Now, by the way, it doesn't need to be special cardamom. It's just regular green cardamom and uh, these will grind in a Sozin uh, Turkish uh, grinder. So this is um, the proportion I use. Now it's very easy to overpower the uh, coffee with the cardamom, which is not what you want. You want kind of the cardamom as a background note. Um, so I kind of go like 80% coffee, 20% cardamom, or even 90 to 10. I don't measure it exactly, but you, you get the you get the idea. A couple of cardamom pods for each handful of coffee, let's say. So I just loaded them by hand into my Sozin manual Turkish coffee grinder. If you are using another manual grinder, it's worth checking with the manufacturer if it can grind uh, cardamom pods because you don't want to brick your grinder. So um, now here comes the fun part of uh, grinding coffee by hand. Someone was asking me on Reddit the other day, how long does it take for me to grind a cup of Turkish coffee by hand? And I was like, I actually have no idea, but I think it's like two minutes and it's actually really mindful and kind of relaxing. Um, I actually really enjoy it. When I used to do this like many times a day, AKA three or four times a day, you just kind of after a while learn by like muscle memory how long to grind for. Um, in this case, I'm a bit out of practice, so I ended up not quite grinding enough and I need needed to do a second second round of grinding. But um, I laid out these little glass bowls so you guys can take a look at the difference between my home produced uh, cardamom coffee and a commercial cardamom coffee, which is coming from Izzy Man's in Jerusalem, which is a favorite uh, coffee store of mine. So this is what came out of the Sozin just now, and um, I actually just recalibrated it to make it a tiny bit tighter and finer. So this is even like slightly more coarse than it can go. But uh, just for the sake of comparison, here is the Izzy Man's cardamom coffee um, next to it and you will notice that the Izzy Man's is just a bit more powdery um, this is produced during a, using a very expensive high powered uh, conical burr grinder from Ditting which is a Swiss company so that's the difference you can kind of see the couple of speckles of cardamom in my hand grind stuff but on the finest setting of the Sozin it gets very very close so uh, what I'm going to do now is pour out my coffee from the hand grinder and uh, then, you know, if you want to be really dogmatic about it, you can I, you can measure with a measuring cup if it's one uh, level uh, tablespoon. I tend to eyeball it, but for the sake of this video, I made everything as kind of good as I could, except for cleaning the coffee maker, apparently. Anyway, that was my uh, one tablespoon. It's gone in. And uh, for measuring, I always, as I say, you just leave a tiny bit of water at the top of your coffee cup. And uh, this is my Arzum Oka Minio Automatic Turkish Coffee Maker. It is literally one of the best things I've ever bought. And it will brew you lovely Turkish coffee in only one minute. Um, so it's just about to reach the end of the cycle. There we go with the pips. And uh, now all that's left to do is pour your coffee into the cup. I just drunk this cup of coffee before recording this voiceover and it was delicious. Um, now, depending, getting the crema with Turkish coffee is fickle. Um, I kind of got half a crema and I just noticed there's this cool like moon shape going on. Um, if you get really, really fine, you, you kind of have a better crema, but I don't really pay attention to it that much other than when I'm thinking, what the hell does a moon mean in my coffee? Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to make a cardamom coffee at home, just remember you don't actually need pre burned cardamom coffee. If you have access to coffee beans and a hand grinder and some cardamom pods, which can generally be found in any supermarket spice section, you have everything you need to make awesome cardamom coffee in your home. Thank you guys for watching. If you do want to get more videos from me, do please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching again.